though. Maybe, who knows. Using a bow was a good choice, I think. There'll be people that argue that, but then I could argue if I used anything else I'd get hit a lot more, which would slow my progress further. Granted, a bigger weapon or like a great sword would do more damage, but I think this is a pretty good option. Like, the bow doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but at the same time, it allows you to provide power from a distance. The bow guns would probably be better, but they're not as good as this, I don't... Well, that's my opinion. Like, they can be better, they can be worse, but the same can be said for the bows. So, never mind. But I, li I like the bows. I always have. I just think it's because it's a bit of a different play style compared to normal. Plus, if you're a pussy, you can like hide out on places with a bow and still just completely own the enemy. Well, that was one of the things you could do with the training school and the Yan Kukku, is get the the, the bow gun, uh, run to the end of the arena, jump up, and then just hail fire on the Kukku. And it would only hit you like once or twice. It was awesome. Because it died so damn quick. Like, literally in a few seconds, the Kukku would be dead. Okay... Come on. Come on. I wanna hit the five minute mark before he starts to... Or like, five minutes remaining before he starts to turn. Because that's when I'll know that I've got it in the bag. There we go. I don't know why that thing's like flashing red, because it's not a bad thing. So basically the way this quest works is you don't actually have to do a lot of damage to Lao Xiong. Shun. I keep saying Shun. I don't know why. You don't actually have to do a lot of damage. You just have to make sure you stagger him multiple times to slow his progress. Because as the quest says, if the fort integrity is at 100%, there is a 0% chance of failure. So, that's always nice. Wait a minute, can I go up here? Because that looks like a ramp. <gasps> I think I can! Wait a minute, really? Holy crap, I can. Cool. Haha, <laughs> I never knew this. Oh, this is cool. This would probably be more useful for a bow person. To be up here. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that worked, didn't it? I don't know where he is. Oh, I see him. Just. Just like one big freaking shadow. Ooh. Nah, there we go, he's turning. Like, people might think I'm screwing around, but not really, because I can just... ...jump down if he starts to get too close. It means up here I'm out of his way as well. He is far away, though. Will that even hit? I'm trying to get the head, but I can't actually see where these are landing. Are you in that far away? I don't think he'll make it to the end of here in 2 minutes and 30. I could be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm not hitting him at all, am I? 
I think the arrows despawn before I even get... Before they even hit him, so... That doesn't exactly help. Maybe up there is better for a bow gunner. Not a bowman. So if you use the, the guns, then that's probably a better place. Because they do have a longer range than this. Like that's That'll only go so far and then the bullet will despawn. Or the arrow, not bullet. We're really close to the end. Yay! This was a long quest and it's probably been boring, but I don't know. Some people might have enjoyed watching Lao Shan get not really owned, but get to tiered from his current route. You're not getting to the fort, buddy. Like, I don't care what you think you're doing. You are not, and I repeat, not getting to the fort. I will hit you with my arrow. Let me do what I did with Teostra, please. Yeah! So this didn't kill him. Whoa, I saw him side him for a second. That was spooky. I might as well speed him up now. It's not like he's going to get much further. You can determine how long's left by looking at the clock. And when we're really, really close to having no time left. There we go. We've got a minute. It starts flashing incredibly fast and own at a very deep red. There we go, he's sped up. But now he goes back down again. Yay! Yeah, this does speed him up. I didn't even notice. It does the same with the Shen Garan. If you attack his legs, he'll move quicker. But it's also a good way of slowing them down, because... With this, it doesn't just make his head swing back and forth. It actually knocks him over. I don't think it slows him down, though. I think we claim victory. Victory! Psh. Yeah, heh <laughs> heh! Shit. He is moving quick, though. Oh yeah, whoops. Oh god! Ba da dum bum bum. Let the do. Oh fuck. I got like kicked. I wanna just attack his stomach. Come here, you. Hoo! Hoo! I wanna stun him so, like. He crushes me. Oh, there we go. It didn't even work. The fuck, man? It like pushes me out the way. Whoa. And I saw her inside him again. Yay! We win. Oh, we knocked him over too. Looks like we killed him. But now he'll get back up. He didn't get back up. Maybe I did kill him. Whoa! We got a lot of crap. His claw, his scale I already have. Shell, no, I already have. And his horn, commendation I already have. A lot of. Because when it came to the high rank quest, you got a commendation for each quest you finished. Guild card upgraded. That will literally just say that I finished the Elder Woman. The Elder Woman's quests. Pretty sure. Anyway. Which also, that makes me think. On the loading screen. I'll probably point it out when I next get to it. But yeah, on the, um... Where is it? No. What am I after? Oh yeah, this guild card. Which one was it then? No, that's to do the, the, all of them. No. No. What did I? Oh, it was my guild card got upgraded. I didn't get awarded a badge. Which, yeah, it's just, it's blue. 
Never mind. No, what I've noticed with the loading screen is... I think I might keep this bow. Oh, hello. You have a thingy. What is this? Hard atmosphere. Don't need. I've bought more than enough of these. Where is it? Give me this. Right, okay, cool. Okay. Can I improve anything? There will be something. But I don't want to go through all of my weapons. Oh yeah, there we go. I have that, and I have a demon halberd. It's, lit it's literally just that that I don't have. The decider. Uh, no. Because I am a bow dude. Huh? Can I just create the decider? Multiple times, please. That was the weapon. That I needed to kill the... Garuga for. Yes. No. Yes. No. Right, now we have three deciders. So that's useful. Pickaxe blade. So we have a slaughter that can be made into a slaughter. Oh wait, no, that's the rooster decapitator. Right, we want the pickaxe blade then. Yep. What's this one? Sleep sword Xantoma. Ooh. That's to do with the hypnocatrice. Violet pincer we already have. This is I need the carmine blade. That's the killer's scythe. Wait a minute. The killer's scythe makes that. But it also makes the shogun cutter. Which is the last thing I need here. But I already... You know, whatever. I'm trying to find whatever can, what else can be upgraded. I know there was something else that needed something to do with the Hypno Catrice. Trying to find it. It's fucking hard though. No, 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 no. There's no use, is there? Fucking Jesus. Can I the bows? No. Fine. Whatever. I don't care. Oh, wait. This seems... That is... This is the last quest. Quest. Are you kidding? She's got one more. The fuck is it this time? I thought you said you only had one more. Two Rajang? <laughs> there ain't no way I can do that with a bow. Well, I probably could, but I don't want to test it. <laughs> I need to eat, too. Just remembered. Uh ba do ba dee ba do ba da boop she ba dee ba 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 do boop Alright yeah. Um I will use they are thunder. So ice. We'll we'll give the Edelweiss a try. Yes. Ooh, they are thunder, aren't they? What's good against thunder? Kezu Yeah Oh, they ain't gonna be touching me. Oh, even that's pretty good against Thunder. Not as good as Kezu, though. Because Kezu was a Thunder Dragon, so what do you expect? Yeah, buddy. Eh, eh, yeah. I love the Kezu mail. It looks so good. Right. I want the same thing that I've had each time. Fish. Meat. One, two, punch flavor, health and stamina. Oh, yeah. Feline temper. Alright. Oh, I'm going against the Rajang. Which, I'm pretty sure, well, every big monster has a cry, so... We should be good. The Rajang is fucking tough as well. Final imitation. Hunt two Rajang. Now, these things are pretty cool looking. Like, the Rajang, it's a black monster. Alright, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Right at the bottom of the, the loading screen. It has something that looks like a cuckoo. But what it actually is is the Hypno Catrice. Which was quite a shock to me, I guess. But, well, I've just realized I've always thought it was the Yan Cuckoo. But it's not. It's the Hypno Catrice. I'm almost certain of that. We have to go against two at once. 
I have no idea if this is going to go well or terribly. What the hell? Yeah, there's one. That's the Rajang. Yeah, it's black, but it goes golden. When it's pissed, it becomes gold. <laughs> 